You know, this thing really has gone beyond bizarre. I was out and about yesterday, and I was observing different behaviors. I saw a lady in a car all by herself with a mask on. <laughs> I'm not sure how you catch corona from yourself if yourself doesn't already have corona, but I thought now she's violating the six-foot rule. <laughs> she's got to somehow learn to get six foot from herself along with the mask. Paul said, whether out of the body or in the body, I could not tell. <laughs> Y'all just have to bear with me. Now, listen, I'm not going to lose my sense of humor, so you might as well just get over it. I'm not going nuts with everybody else. I can tell the difference between a liberal and conservative in 30 seconds. Liberals have no sense of humor. All I got to do is talk to them for 30 seconds, and they go off, and I know exactly how they vote. It's sad. It must be a disease. But I don't know how you get six foot from yourself. And now a wise doctor's got on the internet and said that you're breathing recycled air and you're breaking down your oxygen because you need your blood to be oxygenated to uh, build up antibodies so you're really doing more harm than... And they're really the people that need to be wearing the mask are the ones that are surgery or right there in the middle of it. But driving down the road by yourself, the only thing more nonsensical than that was the bicycle riders I saw out in the country with only cows in the field miles from nowhere with masks on. They were pedaling fast. The COVID was right behind them. I saw it. The coronas were gaining. And on the right turn, here comes the corona up on that. And on the left. I just felt like rolling down my window. Does anybody have any sense anymore? <laughs> common sense has gone crazy. Common sense is no longer common. <laughs> I was busting out a rhyme the other day on the coronavirus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resist it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to resist the temptation unless someone with no sense of humor think that I... Uh, don't regret the loss of life. I do. Anybody that dies, it's a tragedy. But we cannot and must not let the cure be worse than the disease. And what we're not hearing about is the multitude of people that are dying of suicide, dying while they're waiting for elective surgery, dying of domestic violence, dying of depression while they watch their, their life savings and their business and everything go down the drain. They released some statistics from nursing homes the other day. 42 people had died of corona. 56 others had died, and they weren't sure how they died, so they just presumed them corona as well. So it's, it's getting almost to the place now you could get shot four or five times. It would be the worst case of corona we ever saw. I, I'm just saying. Well, don't get mad at me. You can't just automatically assume. Well, now that we've taken care of the internet crowd, <laughs> If you're still with me, it'll do you good. Don't let it bother you too bad. I'm just appealing to, for common sense. I saw one guy the other day walking down the street, and he had his mask around his wrist. He was, it was, I don't know what it's supposed to do down there. I saw one lady with down on her chin. Now, please don't come up to me and tell, after the service, tell me the benefits of the mask. I already said, if you're around people that are verifiably sick in a medical surrounding, put your mask on. In the car by yourself, let's just be real. I'm not sure. However, it's your car and it's your mask. And I will reserve the right 
to defend your use. To act as ridiculous as you want in your car as long as you keep it between the lines. Now, if you raise it up so high you can't see, now we have another problem. Okay. Second Chronicles chapter 6. It really won't hurt you to laugh a little bit. You know, really, a merry heart does good like a medicine. I'd rather take a few laughs as pills than take all the jack they're handing out. 